What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I just want to make a quick little video talking a little bit quick here about looking at money as a language. So this is something that usually people, I don't think really people look at it as that. They more look at it as some object thing. Something that always stays the same and for example, how you have super many different currencies in, in various uh, countries. People usually look at money as, okay, an object, it always stays the same in value. And usually people don't consider it that much as a language as, what is it that actually gives it value? And if the world is going to move towards, you know, all on to the internet and and everyone is basically on the internet, it would be ideal if everyone sort of is using some kind of uh, money thing on the internet that everyone basically can use, uh, permissionless and open and all that. So it's really, really interesting. Right now, a lot of people are valuing stuff in, for example, fiat value. And it gives them many times some kind of idea that they have in their head of basically what some value is worth. So for example, it's really interesting because 50 to 100 years ago you had a, a phase where a lot of workers got replaced by a machine uh, that they could do most of the work. So people still, but people still have this idea that one man hour of sort of work should be maybe ten dollars or something like that, but but it, it gets very very it gets quite nuanced when one machine can do that basically. So production is like already fixed. Then it gets really interesting because you must then can just focus on the the communication aspect of money or a language. The way people have looked at language in many ways is, okay, I need English and I need maybe a native language and that's it. I never have to update the language I use to communicate with the world. But now when we are having a large section of humans that basically used communicating with machines or whatever, or at least it's eventually moving to that phase. That means uh, language cannot just be something that you learn once and then never looks at again same as with the education and all this that it has to be a continuous thing even though a lot of things are probably going to be done by ai and machine and all that but they still have to look at for example language how do you make a language that everyone sort of understands and that sort of everyone can benefit from and all that and yes we have it with english but we don't have it with money in terms of something on the internet that everyone can use super easy in terms of billions of people and you know it's really interesting to 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 look at money used as a language because it now now it, re it really is like that because most of it is not uh, physical um and if it is physical people used to have some paper thing and uh, i mean that's sort of going away in many ways um mm. So now when it's all used digital, a lot of people are going to become quite philosophical in many ways of, uh, okay, so it's all used digital now, it's all used ones and zeros, okay. Um, yeah, new languages. And even with the new language, I, I eventually think that it's going to be very much automated uh, in, the, in the way that people are not going to have to think too much about it. Because it's just going to be a click a button. You see people clicking right now on likes. Uh, but they're not getting anything for it. But now, for example, with DTube. It's like click and curate. And, and, and some numbers goes here and there. And people used to do it. People go back in many ways to use, use money as trade. Without making a big deal out of it. So maybe as how, how it was supposed to work. Uh, with, uh, with barter. Or maybe maybe they did that a lot with gold coins that they didn't like bring uh, have a lot of fancy ideas about what the potential value is. So what happened with the invention of banking and the stocks and all that is that people could see it. Wait, it's like we can leverage this. We can invent stuff from nothing. 
and they sort of realized and they got a lot of fancy ideas in their head and you, you can sort of start to build these uh, these things that are basically creating super much value from nothing but it doesn't really benefit the whole sort of a circle of people uh, so a lot of people are basically going to have to think a lot about this as money as a language and really looking at it closely okay how is this generated is it going to the right places should there really be this much in circulation or, or whatever it's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff a lot of roles a lot of a lot of stuff that just needs to be looked at because it's not an easy thing <laughs> these uh, these value systems because we have seen a lot of value system and they're good and bad things with all of them some have failed brutally in the last hundred years or so and some have succeeded more but they also at the same time haven't really been perfect but it's probably good if more and more people start to look in uh, how value is created and sort of what sort of value system they're using even though a lot of that's going to be automated in the future but even there there might be some risks that someone gets too much influence of something so money as a language is very very interesting in many ways you can use and negative words to sort of bring someone down to earth again because for example with fiat value if you say a high fiat value then a lot of people agree okay this has value uh, and then they get very fancy ideas in their head and then they sort of drift off and when you get value that is like totally totally drifted off from reality when you when you get fancy ideas that are totally drifted off from reality then uh, people it gets interesting like what people measure value against so something that probably is gonna constantly update itself depending on what what sort of uh, technology that becomes the most successful in um, getting users a user base and basically used work because right now we don't really have a, a, a super cool digital token system that works I mean super exponentially amazing and has billions of users probably gonna go there eventually but there is still a long long way to go um, so and eventually if people really see something work on a super big level then they're gonna update themselves in, in how they're looking at value and the more, more you're going to see it, okay, the only thing that I have to do as a human is looking at the language side of uh, technology, learning more about languages and, and the nuances with that. And that, is, that comes down to a lot of things. Money as a language, blockchain as a language, tokens as a language, nuances in English, in all these sorts of um, local languages that exist and see if there is something that can be improved upon and usually people can improve their language skills and see more what kind of systems that would bring the best to people yeah so I think it's something really really interesting when there is something that is working amazing then people probably can relax a bit more and uh, because then then they can just focus on work or or something digital jobs or something like that digital jobs as my friend told me it's probably it could probably be a very good thing mainly as this is my view on it that in terms of structure digit, digital jobs and structure and roles I, I think that that is going to be the, the key thing with digital jobs or something like that that people are looking they're looking at things they have some form of structure maybe they're doing something and 
there's some kind of role that they sort of are taking but that it's not as dead serious so they can they can have structure and roles but more for fun and doing a little bit of stuff but that is not that they have to that they're forced or whatever that is more just a little bit more laid back uh, I think it's eventually automatically going to move to that because it just makes more sense it just makes more sense so we can sort of see how all people or yeah all people are eventually like billions of humans are gonna flow into new languages new languages of communication we know voice and video is gonna be huge so a cool feature I would see on YouTube in the future is right now they have sort of background playback which is amazing I would also love to see a feature where a person basically can download an audio file of it maybe they pay like 5 DTC or I mean it's a tiny amount something like that that would be kind of cool because then they would be able to download the audio file do whatever they want with it maybe even download the video it uh, it would be kind of cool we see with all these systems that what is the most successful is that people don't have to ask for permission to innovate that they can create some app some token some blockchain or, or whatever and they don't have to ask for permission to do it and that is basically what makes this ecosystem thrive thrive because it is it can run itself and and that's good because humans in many ways they slow down things just consider the nuances of language so in this video I talked a tiny bit about money as, as a language but if you just look at it if you closely look at the word that you're using it's not just the way you say it it's it's the way it's being pronounced the, the sound of it if you if you spell a word look at the word spell spells it's it's basically magic in many ways or what we would refer to as magic this uh, brand new technology that it, yeah it, it is a lot of magic looking at the screen doing some work doing some videos doing some voice it's a lot of magic involved in our sort of definition of magic especially if you would go back a hundred years if someone saw you with a smartphone talking to a smartphone it would look kind of strange like why is that person doing that well they are communicating in a new way so yeah that is what I wanted to talk a little bit about today and I always look at it from or I try to look at I, I see a, a lot of benefits with new technology but I also try to look at the risks and all that so yeah that's what I want to talk a little bit about today hopefully enjoyed have a great day DTube and the Steam blockchain bye bye